150,000 people without power. Hey, we're looking at severe weather. You need to come on downstairs. Gregson heard it hit his roof. That means it had to be lifted up off the ground. Watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Merry afternoon, Merry Vlogmas This is today's, I have a sweater on too, not that it's, it's not cold at all This is today's Vlogmas shirt, it's like a baseball style that says believe and it has a Santa hat on it. Isn't that cute? I think maybe, yeah, some snowflakes and some rhinestones. So that's today's Vlogmas shirt. But the reason I picked up the camera and I'm gonna open the front door and show you. So this is what's going on outside right now. Not much, right? Little bit of wind, but, okay, are you ready for this? So this is Iowa. It is 70 degrees outside. It's like 64, 65, 70, somewhere around there in Iowa. It's normally like 30, 30 degrees, sometimes below zero this time of year, but a lot of times it's like 20, 30 degrees. We have snow on the ground. We have no snow. It's almost 70 degrees, so it's like early summer, late spring weather. We have this uh, like early summer, late spring weather going on and we're looking at 70 to 80 mile an hour winds, potential tornado or severe storms in the middle of December. Like this is historic weather, it's record breaking weather. And so yeah, that's what's going on. So I thought I would show you what was going on outside right now, because right now it's really calm, but they said about seven, eight o'clock tonight, it's supposed to get really bad and the wind is supposed to pick up. So we'll see, we'll see what's gonna happen tonight. Hopefully it just passes us by, but it doesn't sound like it's going to. So anyway, that's what's going on. I'm gonna get a little bit of cleaning done between now and then. They said possible power outages. I know our emergency management team has um, the electric company on standby after five o'clock tonight. So we'll see what happens with all of that. So just thought I would give you an update on what's going on here. I hope everybody is doing well. I know there's been crazy severe weather going on throughout the Midwest area. So we just wanna say stay safe, stay safe everybody and we are paying attention to what's going on and thinking of you. So, all right, let's get some cleaning done and hopefully we keep our lights okay. on. Okay, I had to run up and get the, uh, yeah. So as you can see, we're under a tornado watch. Oh. Tornado watch in December. Yeah, I've never heard of anything crazier. October I thought was crazy. They uh, said that we weren't gonna get any notifications of like severe storm warnings unless it was tornado because we're expecting, I'm out of breath because I went running upstairs. Um, we are expecting like 70, 80 mile an hour winds. I think somebody said by Cedar Rapids they were looking at 100 mile an hour winds. Yep. So, crazy, crazy weather. But yeah, we are officially under a tornado watch. Did it say what time it went to? Nope. Okay, I should probably look. Probably tornado nine. watch for Dubuque. Let me look at our local news station. It popped up on my phone. I have plenty of candles. I have a lantern and I have a flashlight ready to go. I've got our first aid kit handy. I cleared out my closet so that I can put the kids in the closet. Even though we're in the basement, there's still windows in this basement. So I cleared out my bedroom closet, which has no windows and is completely underground. So I can put the kids in there. Um, just to be sure that they're not anywhere near any windows. So um, let's see. Does it say? until 11 p.m. So it's currently 5.34 p.m. So we've got a few hours yet. It's just a watch at this point, but we still just wanna keep an eye out. It's not a warning. So I'm not making the kids come down in the basement. They did say 
that these storms are fast moving and so you need to be prepared because there's not going to be a lot of reaction time with these storms which is why I've already got everything cleared out. I have a flashlight put in that closet in there. I have the lantern right here where I can grab it. It's already got the batteries in. It's ready to go um, so that way because these are happening at night we're not going to be able to see what's going on. So anyway we are currently T and I are watching um, the, yeah, the last episode that's aired of Sister Wives. So we'll be waiting, I'm sure, impatiently for this Sunday's episode. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we are going to continue watching that. We're watching it on demand because we just haven't had time to sit down and watch it when they come we out. We never have time. No, we usually catch them on we demand. We have, what, two shows that come out on Sundays now? Dexter, because... Dexter, yep, we started watching yeah, the new Dexter. I, me and Dad got her into Dexter and then Sister Wives now. Yes, and we're watching Wheel of Time. That comes out on Fridays. Yes. So we're watching Wheel of Time, and we're watching Real Housewives, uh, Real Housewives of Orange County. So we're trying to get caught up to the current season on that. Yes. So then, what did Stacy tell us to watch next? New Jersey. Yeah, so I think we're going to do New Jersey instead of Beverly Hills. We'll see. There's all these like Real Housewives specials, but I don't want to watch them until we've caught up yet. So. Yeah, because we'll some of wait. them are like crossovers and stuff. Like yeah. they, Peacock just got Girls Trip. <laughs> so. so that is what we're currently do doing while the weather is so quiet. We're going to take a little relaxed time and Hopefully I've got my quiet. phone charging. So that way I don't have to worry about that. I have a fully charged phone. We've got... I think we're pretty much set up. Everything's good to go. Well, hopefully it stays quiet. Yeah. <laughs> but we just want to, we always want to be prepared. Skylar and Braxton and I took time to make sure that we, we don't usually have to think about this stuff no. in December. I mean, this is so unusual. So like we had to go get our garbage cans. Tomorrow's garbage day. So normally we put our garbage out to the curb at night. And we can't do that. So I'm going to have to set an alarm to wake up at like 5.30 so I can get my garbage outside if the winds die down by then. Yeah. Hopefully. I might be having to take a trip to the dump. <laughs> yeah. Or I'm going to be getting garbage tags so that I can set out double the garbage yeah. next week. Because I can't put my garbage out tonight. Not with winds like this. It'll be blowing all over the neighborhood. Did you tell them about your uh, forgetting garbage day? What was it? Two weeks ago? I think so, yeah, cause, because <laughs> I had hurt my back and I was sick. So we ended up having to go to the dump, and I was like, I will never do that again if I don't oh, have to. Because yeah. it's so much more expensive than it used to be to take a load of garbage to the dump. I'll just get either a large item pickup and have them come pick it up, or <laughs> I'll put garbage tags on because it was a lot more expensive than it used to be. Anyway, we are going to finish watching our show. Is Matt is making... I'm making a mushroom. Yep, she's doing her 25 days of mushmas. And you guys are making manicotti. Manicotti yeah. and mushrooms. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm excited for that. Oh, meatballs. Meatballs, yeah. He's making little meatballs. Actually, Aspen's making the meatballs. He's upstairs rolling them, and him and Matt were debating on how big the meatballs should actually be. So there were some that were like this big. <laughs> and Matt was like, no, let's make them more like this big. So the two of them were debating on the appropriate size of meatballs. Yes, Aspen was more in favor of the big meatballs. Yes, he wanted, he's like, they'll be fine, they'll be fine. And we're like, no, they won't cook. So <laughs> now he's reassessing his view on how big the meatballs should be. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna open this door. <laughs> I opened it to check the wind. I'm gonna open it now and hopefully I can hang on to it because I didn't realize, it's so quiet in the house. I didn't realize just how windy it is. Are you ready? Yeah, I don't know. You probably can't see anything, but can you hear that? It is so windy right now. And that's not near as windy as it's supposed to get. So we'll just keep keeping an eye on it. But yeah, I opened the door and it was like, it sucked on the door. It was like kind of pushing up against it and ugh. All right. Well, Aspen and I are sitting on the couch. We're waiting for tea, huh? Look. Yeah, what are Can we watching? Get our show. Oops. Did I hit the button? Nope. Yeah, we're watching, what's this called? Bear Bears? The Bear Bears? No, We Bear Bears. We Bear Bears, yeah. 
We were watching it on regular cable, and then he's like, it's on Netflix. We can watch it there and not have commercials, huh? What's wrong with your toe? It hurts. Oh, is that the toe you dropped the thing on? Yeah. Right here, it hurts. Oh. I think I have something in it. Think you got something in your toe? No, it's fine. I think he just bruised it pretty good. He dropped like this, uh, like a hanger, like a, uh, like a wall hanging that you would put up that has hooks on it to hang like hats or coats or things like that. And he didn't realize it wasn't attached. And like, what'd you, what'd you do? You like walked by it? I walked by it and it fell. Yeah, and I don't, he must have touched it in some way. It was in his big brother's room and normally the kids aren't in there. And uh, so we finally, wow, that got dark, huh? We finally just hung it on the wall so that that doesn't happen again. It was just kind of sitting up there holding my grandpa's um, belt and his cowboy hat on it. Um, my mom gave those to Skylar after my grandpa passed away. So anyway, we are getting ready to watch. What are we watching? You okay? <laughs> what a face. The freak you out? Let me show you guys. I saw it, I saw it. No, let's show her. Oh, your toe, I don't know if they can see it. So right now, as you go, zoom in. Oh, what, what the? What happened? It shut off. That's weird. For a second, <laughs> what the? Okay, so, uh. Looks a lot better now, huh? It hurts. Anyway, we are getting ready to watch Oh, the rest of A Boy Called Christmas. So that's what we're gonna be watching here in a few minutes. Okay, we've got candles lit and we're just kind of cozied up on the couch and hoping that the weather ends up missing us, but we'll see. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to show you the best that I can. I turned the light on out here, but I don't think you'll be able to see much. But it is, oh, it's died down now. I came out like a second ago and it was really windy. But it's, it's like it keeps picking up gusts of wind. It kind of picks up and then it dies down and then it picks up again. So we'll just kind of keep an eye on it. I know they said about this time it was kind of supposed to get pretty windy. So, and it's supposed to go through the night. So we'll see, we'll just keep an eye on the skies and watch and listen for any warnings. But right now it's pretty calm. Yeah, it was blowing around a lot, huh? Okay, you guys, I thought I would open this door. There you go. That. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. But I bet you can hear it. That is the kind of wind we're getting right now. You can see that. Yeah, we're just getting gusts like that right now. And then it quiets down. And then it'll pick up again. So. Oh, yeah. Wow. Can you hear that? I know it's so dark. You can't really see anything. Can you hear that? Maybe my camera will pick it up. I can't really see it through the lens, but maybe you guys can see the difference. Okay. I'm going to go inside. Listen to the difference. Now I can hear it inside. So see how quiet it gets? Yeah. So if I could hear it in here, that means it was it was pretty intense for a minute. We've got we've got it all lit up and cozy in here. Candles going. I've got an angel candle right there going. And He's hanging out on the couch. We're I just watch. finished editing. Yeah, you've been editing some of your yes. Mushmas videos, right? Yes. And we've got our little fireplace going. It's not on though because it's hot in here. No, yeah, it's too warm right now. It's supposed to cool down tonight though, like drop down into the the 20s or 30s. We've got some ambiance there. It's only 8.55, it seems so much later than that. We've got a little candle there. And I've got 
more candles. Don't mind my cans of Mountain Dew and <laughs> my lens cleaner. We look like we're having a party down here. We, we kind are of having are. a party. We've got oh gosh, Christmas tree lit up in the corner. It looks so pretty. It's so cozy in here. Hopefully it stays that way. And it's just windy. I love this. Makes it feel so homey. Well, my thing says that we're about to have light rain in 14 minutes. <laughs> oh wait, I we just have wish... hold on, we have two more alerts now. No, what's it saying? Okay. Severe thunderstorm warning. <laughs> Are we really under we're severe thunderstorm? That's what it said. Right See? Is that for our county? Yeah. Dubuque? See? Dubuque County oh, severe wind. thunderstorm warning at 8.44, so it just started until 9.45. Okay, so about an hour. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Hazard 70 mile per hour wind gusts. I believe that. This is from the National Weather Service, so I don't know what KWLBL is saying. Okay. So, we'll, you want me to go look? Well, if we start hearing it in here, we know the wind's picking up. We have a tornado watch still until 11. The only reason I've seen it is because originally it said tornado watch and one more now it says tornado watch and two more oh yeah see it changed you can see on the all down there oh yeah go look. <sighs> i did not expect this in december i was worried about all the blizzards because they were saying we could have a really harsh winter yeah with and like blizzards. it was gonna be cold but Winter hasn't started yet either, yeah, it's so it's still for a few more days. Technically, we, fall. But so we still may end up getting some nasty blizzards. Yeah. Let me check KWW. I stocked up our refrigerator with a bunch of water in the tub, and we ran. Yeah, we ran water in the tub just in case because this was the first time I'd really heard them say, like, be aware that we could have power outages and stuff. Okay. So. so and they were stressing the power outages. We're going to have to go look at the TV because the KWWL website is only telling me we have a high wind warning right now. Okay. But the National Weather Service is telling me we have three different watches and warnings. I think they said they wouldn't really put out any alerts, alerts for, for warnings for severe weather. But that the National what Weather Service will. Right. Um, because they were more worried about putting out alerts for tornadoes, tornadoes and stuff like that. So Yeah, during the summer it's different because it stays, it'd be light out right now still. Yeah. And we could still somewhat see, but it's nighttime now. Oh, we'll just watch it. Oh, look, at, I'm getting tired, but there's no way I'm going to be able to sleep. I don't know why I'm tired right now. It's so early yet. probably just cozy. Probably. I think we're going to put on a little bit of Real Housewives. Yeah, we and our sister wives, so. Yeah, we did. We caught up on all of the sister wives until Sunday. So I think we're going to watch some Orange County and just and just chill. I'm gonna uh, go that's what we're going to do. Get a mountain okay, day. so I'm going to see what it's like outside because Matt said, I know it's so dark, I just don't want to turn on a bunch of lights. Okay, so holy cow. Can you hear that wind? I don't know if you can see it at all. My light's probably... Oh, look at that. Did you see the lightning in the distance? Wow. Okay, so Matt said about 15 minutes is when it's supposed to... The worst part of it's supposed to hit our area. So I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on it. Oh, I don't know if you can see. I can see it. I don't know if you can see it. Let me let me open this. I don't even know if it'll focus, but can you see the line of clouds? It's that really light part right about there. Can you see that? There's some lightning off in the distance, but I can see like a a shelf of clouds moving this way. I'm going to actually turn on our local TV station and see what it's saying. I don't know how much I'm catching here. My camera's going to keep focusing and unfocusing because of the, how dark it is. We've got our local TV station going. 
Wow, those clouds are moving so fast. And I know you guys can't really see them. It's so dark. And they are super low. So I'm going to just go see, see what the news is saying. Here we are. He's going to look that up. And this is the line of storms. I'm sure we'll come so, up with that stat. 915 if Northwest, North we'll Western Louisa, for it and ask him for it. Buchanan, anyway, Johnson, uh, Washington, the that are moving on through Delaware the area, and, and these so, are going to produce some wind gusts near 70 miles per hour, and that would include the city of Dubuque now uh, as we head through the evening hours. And the warning okay. here is... So it looks like, yeah, storm, we're under down to a severe thunderstorm hour, warning. Considerable tree damage. Was, you know, 100 miles an hour was just a Roofs little, and little crazy. 55 miles an hour, we'll put a track on this. Looks like 916, which 929, is it's supposed to hit right us. Now. I'm going to kind of see if I can... Yeah, if you heard that, he's saying you could lose power. But there is a possibility, a good likelihood, that you may lose power. Almost 150,000 people without power across Iowa at this point. Anything that's not blue. The colors, anything that's not blue is the oranges, the yellows, the reds, uh, and that is all those locations are without power. After the storm passes, they were talking about it earlier, who are ready to go out and work on the power lines as soon as it hits. And once the storms pass. Okay, so that storm's getting ready to come our way and the sky just lit up with lightning. Um, I did notice, I went into the bathroom and I noticed that, uh, oh, here comes that wind. Um, I noticed the lights were flickering a bit, so. You want me to go get the kids? Since it's about to hit? Yeah, why don't you tell Ireland and Zane to come on down? Okay, so I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see because it's a night storm, but there's some of that lightning right there and that wind is picking up. Okay, so I'm gonna go up and I think I'm gonna wake Braxton up. He was sleeping. It's so dark in the house. Normally I have lights on all over the place, but I just don't today. Whew, I can hear that wind. I'm gonna go in and wake up Braxton. Braxton? Come on. Hey, we're looking at severe weather. You need to come on downstairs. Come on. All right. All right, buddy. Come on. Okay, I got all the kids downstairs. I feel better. Oh, man. I'm gonna take you guys out front. I don't know what I'm hearing. Oh, one of my toy soldiers. <laughs> I'm a little frazzled. So, I went to look outside. I was gonna show you guys. The wind is blowing. <laughs> and one of my poor toy soldiers was down over the front of the door. So I pulled them both out of where they're at and then just kind of like tucked them the best that I could. And hopefully I don't lose them, we'll see. I hope not. Oh, I'm gonna shut this upper door. I'm going to get my dinner. I'm going to get my dinner. Okay, honey. I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Everyone's up. Shut the door when you come down. Three, if not more, in okay. Waterloo. And, uh, these I don't know how much you guys can see. Effect today, and that continues through tonight. That's something we don't see too often uh, for sustained winds. It's gotten. Can you see that? I don't know. Guess we'll find out tomorrow how much you guys can see of this. Or listen to it. Okay. 
Okay, so like they were saying on the news, we were 41 degrees warmer today than we should have been for this time of year. And tomorrow it's going to drop like 41 degrees, if not more. Oh shoot, I can't show you now. These are the wind gusts. Yeah, 60 mile an hour wind gusts, so. I wanted to show you the temperature. So over here, it's like 30 some degrees. And then over here by us, it's like 60, 64. So, and here's where we are. It looks here. like we might get lucky yeah, and it might it's, it's just miss us. So 19 but degrees there right now and it's 64 so here. Is that crazy? This is just the other side of the state. Uh, and they said that's how quickly the temperatures are dropping. Just a couple seconds ago it said it was 29. I know, that's how quickly they're dropping. Around 60 miles per hour. So the wow. state temperature there, some of the temperatures are actually in the 30s. So it gives you an idea. We have wind gusts to 40 miles an hour. It's oh, like so it's the wind chill we'll see temperatures that they're showing. The 20, so 19 20, degrees so with the wind chill, chill it's 34 right now. To those winds. Oh, here comes the rain. <laughs> you can't see it, but I can feel it. Maybe I can show you a little bit on the... I don't know if you can see it at all, but... They're saying, though, they think our severe thunderstorm warning might might get canceled early so that would be good it looks like oh that's a cold rain holy cow i don't know if you can see it at all let's see if i turn on the turn on the light <laughs> yeah there can you see the raindrops a little bit we've still got the wind gusts we're looking at and that's where we're worrying about the it's the wind gusts that could cause the power outages because you can see, well, I don't know if you can see it, but like the line going into our house is shaking really bad. So I don't know if that's a cable line, internet line, electrical line. I don't know what it is. I actually think that's our internet line. Gonna oh, I was going to show you all the damage. So they had a map of like all the towns and the damage to different areas and it was showing, I counted at least seven tornadoes. There was wind damage, trees down, lightning reported. Um, so if they show that map again, I'll, I'll show you guys what I saw. So I don't want to wake up Matt or Aspen because they're both sound asleep. A lot of people in the house haven't been able to go to sleep though. Um, but you can't really hear much in my bedroom usually, although I don't know if I could say that's true tonight because normally you can't hear a lot in the house. And I'm going to open up the door so you guys can hear it. Okay, I'm going to open up the door so you can hear what's going on outside. It's so loud. Okay, ready? Think? <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. I know I had to put our little drummer boys down. Yeah. If I go outside, I'm gonna Wow. Look at my neighbor's light. Look at that. Can you see it swinging in the distance? What the holy cow. Okay, let's go inside. Come on. That's so cool, but terrifying. Oh, it's pulled down some of our icicles, I think. Yeah, oh, it did. No. <laughs> Man. That's so cool, but that's so oh, It's like, oh. Okay. It's so dark, so you guys can't really see what's going on, but oh my goodness. It is so, it's so windy. It's kind of creepy with how windy it is out there. <laughs> <sighs> and it's getting colder. It's not warm anymore like it was. So it got to be, oh, excuse me. I'm not going to be able to sleep with this going on though. It got to be about, I don't know, I think close to 80. It's still 75 degrees in the house right now, but it's not like it's December. We never, ever, ever would use air conditioning in December, but it got warm enough in the house that normally I would turn the air conditioning on, but it's supposed to drop so dramatically throughout the night that I wouldn't dare do that anyway. Um, because I want to make sure it stays warm in the house just in case we were to lose power 
and uh, that way it would stay somewhat warm in here. I cannot believe that. I mean, our, our neighbor's light is just, it's just swinging around. Oh, hopefully that doesn't end up breaking on them. I mean, it's really, it's Jeez. really swinging How many around. How do you take that smack their house? I don't know. It's so windy outside. Oh my okay. goodness. So. Oh my God, that's why he breaks in his room. Yeah, okay, calm down. I gotta open the back door and look. I had to disarm our alarm. Holy cow, I cannot go out there right now. It's so, oh my gosh, it's so windy. We lost our trampoline, you guys. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it hit my room. Yeah, it hit Braxton's room. I don't even know where it went. Okay, I'm just gonna. Yes, so did I. But my first time was hit. Yeah, I don't even know where the trampoline went. It's gone. Holy cow, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. Holy cow, it's so windy. Let me shut off the light. Okay, now I'll show you. Can you see it now? Oh my lord. I can't even literally keep the door open. All right, I'm gonna try to look outside. Well, I don't know where it went. <laughs> we'll find it in the morning. Oh my gosh, it's totally gone. How much you want to bet it's in our neighbor's yard? Oh my gosh. It breaks its roof. The trampoline flew. Let me look. It's, it's gone. No, I don't want you going out the door. It's too dangerous. Come here and look over here, Ray. Go look out the window over there. You can blow out the candle. No, I want to blow up the Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> my first instinct though when I felt something in my room was to run to the other side of my room though in case like that's, my room started that's a to good fall. Idea. <laughs> Bro, no, you walk up that to my room weird. and all you can hear is It's really loud. What honey? Wait, 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 wait. I thought okay. a tree fell. No, what did know. you say? <laughs> it's so bright now I had all the lights off. Up in my room all you can hear is it's gone, gone. It's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. <laughs> the trampoline's gone, gone. gone. It's gone, gone. All right, you it's two try gone. to get some sleep. It's not there. <laughs> Braxton heard it hit his room. That means it had to be lifted up off the ground super high to hit his room hard enough to where he could hear it. I didn't even think about that. Holy cow, it did. Um, like it hit the one. side of my room. <laughs> yeah, Braxton's on the second floor. <laughs> How much you want to bet it's impaled in the side of my wall? That's not funny. <laughs> That's so funny. I think it's funny. It's gone, gone. It Rick flew and hit the side of my room. Rick Don't look up past me. Rick go look outside your window and see if you can see it from that high. Good morning, everybody. It was a super late light night last night. The wind is still going. Not quite as bad as it was, but it's still pretty windy. I just wanted to kind of show you the aftermath of what happened last night with our trampoline. And now we found out our lawnmower, and it really did hit. It like flew up in the air and hit Braxton's room. So let me show you this. It's so windy. Yet. There is our trampoline, and the lawnmower is all twisted up inside of it in our neighbor's yard. So Skylar's going to come out here in a little bit, and we're going to try to figure out if we can get it down. But yeah, it flew up and hit Braxton's room up here last night.